Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, the first Sunday of this month, we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord, he's good, he's mighty, awesome, daddy, wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Virtual So Many Christ Ministry. May the Lord bless you for tuning in, for joining us in today. <clears throat> this is our uh, Sunday service. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are going to start our, our, our service right now. And then I will call upon the, the servant of God for the opening prayer. May the Lord bless you, man, evangelist, and may the Lord bless you, man. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is that day that the Lord has made for us to be glad and enjoy in it. Hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Come and test and see how the Lord is good. What a wonderful first Sunday. What a glorious God bringing us onto this month. This month of 11, month one, month two, month three, month 11. Wow, Father, you've been faithful. You've been faithful. You are a mighty God. You are a mighty God. Brethren, celebrate the Lord for he has been mighty for all of us. He has been faithful. We are not here by choice, but we are here because of the glory of God, because of the power of God, because of what the Lord has done. Amen. I'm going to say a word of prayer before we start in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We adore you, oh Lord. We exalt your name. We really thank you for a day like this. We thank you for this first Sunday. We thank you for what you are about to do. We thank you, Lord, for the one you did last Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your name alone be glorified. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we seal ourselves with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I'm reading the Bible from the book of Psalms, chapter 150. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the phenomenon of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalm tree and harp. Praise him with the timber and, and dance. Praise him with strings, instrument, and organ. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him open the high sounding symbol. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory, great thing he has done, great thing he has done, greater thing he will do. To the Lord be the glory, great thing he has done, great thing he has done, glorious thing the Lord will do. Unto the Lord be the glory, a great thing he has done. Great thing he has done, mighty thing he will do. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great thing he has done, great thing he has done, glorious thing the king will do. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great thing he has done. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he has done. Done. Greater thing he would do unto the Lord be the glory. Great thing he has done. Great thing he has done. 
mighty thing the Lord can do. Up to the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Great thing he has done. Marvelous thing he will do. Up to the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Oh, we are here again. We are here again. Lord, we are here again. Father, we are here again. We are here again, we are here again, Jehovah, we are here again, Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here again, we are here again, oh Lord, you are here again, Father, come and have your way. We are here again, we are here again, Lord, we are here again, Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here again, amen, we are here again, Father, we are here again, Holy Ghost, come and have your ways. Oh, we are here again, oh, yes, Lord, we are here again. Oh, Jehovah, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and have your way. Here again, we are here again. Here again, we are here again. Oh, Jehovah, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and have your way. Be then exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Be then exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Be then exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Be then exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above. Oh, the earth, let your glory be above all oh, the earth. Take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy One, now forevermore. Take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Spirit, now forevermore. Take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, we are here again. Take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy One, there forever, we are here again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy One, now and forever. We are here again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy One, now and forever, Mom. Jesus, you are worthy. Savior, thou art worthy. Thou alone worthy to be praised. Thou alone are worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are the King of glory. Father, Oh, yes, you are worthy. Who we'll praise your name forevermore? For you alone are worthy to be praised. We worship you forevermore. For you alone are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. Yeah. You alone are worthy to be praised. No, you are worthy. Yeah. You alone are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are worthy. You alone are worthy. Jehovah Jireh, you are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are worthy. You alone are worthy. Sharon of Roses, you are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are worthy. 
You alone are worthy. Alpha Omega, you are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. Yes, you are worthy to be praised. Lord, you are worthy. You alone you are worthy. Jehovah, you are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You alone are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be called at this time. He's worthy to be lifted up. He's worthy, he's worthy. He's the mighty king. He's the faithful redeemer. He's the great I am, that I am. He's Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Adonai. He's the mighty God. Let us open our mouth and begin to worship him. Let us begin to exalt his holy name. Father God Almighty, we worship you. Jehovah there is no God like you, Lord. But I'm not where you, my father, my father. You are mighty, you are faithful, you are a glorious Lord. Father, have your way in our life, Lord. Have your way in our life, my great name. Have your life in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are so good, you are so mighty, you are so faithful. You are a glorious God. There is no God like you. There is no God. You are glorious, you are mighty, you are faithful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for what only you can do. Thank you, Lord, for being great, for being mighty. Thank you, my Father, my God. You are so mighty and You are a glorious God. Father, we salute you. We exalt your name, O Lord. We exalt your name, O my Father. We exalt your name, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, Jehovah, King of glory, we give you all the praise and adoration. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, my Father. Excellent. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent is your name, Father. Receive all the glory, receive all the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We are now going to thank God. Let us thank God for keeping us up today. today. Let us thank God that he did not let us not to be able to, to join. He did not allow us to go into sickness. He did not allow us to enter into the mortuary. Remember those that are in the hospital bed now. Remember those that are in the mortuary. Even those that enter hell today, why not? But he has pleased the God. He has pleased God, oh Lord God. He has pleased our Father God to bring us here in the sanctuary and not in the mortuary. Let us begin to thank him. Let us begin to exalt his name in the in the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 23, he said, For all have seen and come short of the glory of God. It means there is no way we can say no. We are not going to ask God for mercy because we did not sin. But the Bible also tells us in the book of First John, Hallelujah, First John chapter one, First John chapter one, verse nine. The Bible tells us that if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We are going to go before the throne of grace and mercy and ask God for forgiveness. Let us go and repent. 
and confess all our sin in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. The King of Kings, Heavenly Father, you are the King of Glory. 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 We exalt your name, O Lord. We exalt your name, O Father. We exalt your name, O King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us in the book of 1 John chapter 1, 7, he said, but if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. We are calling upon the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from any form of sin, to wash us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, Lord, we call upon the blood of Jesus for the power in the blood of Jesus, the silence and the strength of the enemy over our enemies, over our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus, the power of the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus, we adore you, O Lord. We adore you, O Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my King. In Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I have said unto you. We are going to welcome that comforter. We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit that will come and teach us and bring everything into our remembrance. Anything the Lord wants us to know, anything the Lord has spoken in to us and we do not pick it up. The Holy Spirit is coming to bring it back to our remembrance and take control over this meeting today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Sweet Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome in the name of Jesus, the Spirit of the living God. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the Spirit of the living God. We exalt you, O Lord. We exalt you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, we exalt you, O Lord. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of God, thank you, Jehovah King of Glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the praise and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that we don't reason not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power, against the ruler of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in the highest place. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. Verse 11, he said, put on now, he advised us, put on now, 
the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the vows of the devil. Let us begin to pray and ask God and cover ourselves with all the armor of, of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, we cover ourselves with all the armor of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we cover ourselves with all the armor of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 54, 15, be, behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against me, thee shall fall for that sake. We are going to stand upon this authority. Oh. We are going to stand upon this. We are going to stand upon this authority. We are going to stand upon this, this powerful verb, verse and condemn any plan of the enemy wherever they are gathering it in the air, the land, and the sea against the church of God, against the children of God. We are going to get, we are going to take authority and scatter them as the Lord has said in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God, and Hallelujah. We are going to pray for all the other activities that will happen in this meeting today. The praise and the worship, the Bible reading, the testimony, the word. We are going to submit all them under the control of God and the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God Almighty, we commit all of the rest of the activities. in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and take control. Come and take control. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my father, my father, we give you all the praise, we give you all the praise, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, King of glory, come and take control. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Glorify yourself in the life of your children. Glorify yourself in the life of your children. In Jesus' mighty name, we have said. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to commit now the message. And the messenger to God. We are going to ask God the Father, as you feel your son, Father, Lord God, pour fresh oil upon his head, O oh Lord. Any word that you have delivered, you have given to your son, Father, he will deliver it to us all. Father, in the name of Jesus, no distraction, no frustration, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father, come in the name of Jesus, bring your son to your place, O Lord. Father, may you speak with the game of fresh oil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lion of Judah, we want to thank you for this day. We thank you for this first Sunday, oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your plan, for your life, Lord. You have told us that your plan are for good and not for evil, Father, and to keep our tomorrow. Father, Lord, perfect, we want to thank you for those promises. We thank you, oh Lord God, also that you say, oh Lord, with you, nothing shall be impossible for us. We know that this month is the month of possibility in the mighty name of Jesus. The thing we do not have in the month past, Father, will receive them in this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah King of Glory will commit the ministry to you, all the members. Father, will bring them before your throne and of grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your mighty hand. Open their lives and family in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal ourselves in the blood of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare this service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have opened. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, woman of God, more grace, more anointing. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank God for this uh, opening prayer. We bless God for God in Jesus' name, amen. So it's time for us to worship our Father, Almighty God. Please, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us, uh, let us call upon our choir in Cameroon. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. Just, just give them a few minutes, please. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It is another moment again for us to sing praise and worship. Amen. 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 We give glory to the Lord in rain. 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 We give glory to the Lord in we give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We reign, we reign, we reign, oh. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory, we give glory to the Lord, we reign. We reign, oh. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. Adore us up to the Lord, we reign. Adore us up to the Lord, we reign. We reign, we reign, we reign, oh. Adore us up to the Lord, we reign. Adore us up, adore us up to the Lord, we reign. We reign, oh. Mm -hmm. 
Dr. Amaran Kitutango. Thank you for bringing us again into his presence. Thank you for the strength and power. Thank you for, for the praise and worship he gives to us. Prayers in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my Father, my Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for our choir in Cameroon. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are seeing the mood of our worshiping our Father Almighty God. So we are we are going to call upon the servant of God for the hymn. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, ma'am. Amen. Thank you, my sister. God bless you too. We are going to sing our hymn now to the Lord. And the title is O Daddy God of Heaven. Amen. Amen. O Daddy God of Heaven, keeper of the covenant. O Daddy God of Heaven, keeper of all the promises. I had sing praises to thee. We love your majesty. It's a toy you have adore. Oh, that the God of heaven delivered us from the power, from the tempest and the blast. A comforter and a strength in distress and time of need. He that you have had us, oh, the God of heaven. Glory to your name, oh, that the God of Jacob, keeper of covenant, oh, that the God of Jacob, keeper of all the promises, I sing praises to thee, we love your majesty, it's a toy you have had us. Oh, that the God of Jacob delivered us from the fire, from the tempest and the blaze. I come for Sarah and say, in this place and time of need, it has told you what has done us. Oh, thank God of heaven, glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, in the name of God, may the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord bless you. Yeah. More fresh anointing from above unto you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now we are we are going for the reading of the word of God. So hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are going to welcome our brother, our future pastor, our future evangelist, Evangelist Jesse. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 No, here we are not hearing you, Rajesh. Can you hear me now? Yes. Now, yeah. I read Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25 to 29. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. 
But among my people are found wicked men. They lay in wait as he that set a snares, they set a trap. They catch men as a cage full of birds. So are their houses full of deceits. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. They are waxing fat, they shine. Ye, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper, and the right of the need do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such nations of this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear all by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you more and more. Our future pastor, our future evangelist that will share the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. More power from above unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Testimony time. Blessing time. Time to give our testimony. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Another brand new month for the Father God brought us to another brand new month of uh, November from uh, January to November. Hallelujah. I know all of us, we've got, uh, we've, we, we've got uh, a testimony. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Testimony time, blessing time. Testimony time, blessing time. Praise Master Jesus, I will testify the goodness of God in my life. And the Lord bless you all. I thank God I'm testifying for from January now, November. I thank God for God for divine protection, for protecting me, protecting my family. I thank God for my husband's life. I thank God for my children's life, my family member, every member of this ministry. I thank God for keeping us alive. Joy of the Lord reign in our lives, in our homes. We thank God for God. He's so good. He's so kind. I thank God for fighting battles for us. We bless the name of when the enemy said we will not even pass a January. Now we are in November. We bless the name of the Lord. That is my testimony. And the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Seeing the testimony with the precious Lord of the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. So right now, we are going to welcome. We are going to welcome our followers online. Hallelujah online. May the Lord bless you for tuning in. May the Lord bless you for joining. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we are going to welcome our we are going to welcome everyone in the forum. And the Lord bless you all for, for, for coming. Hallelujah. We welcome Evangelist uh, Marie. May the Lord bless you, man, in Jesus' name. We welcome Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, man, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. We welcome, hallelujah. We welcome uh, Pastor James. May the Lord bless you, sir, and your family, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we welcome uh, Brad Samuel. May the Lord bless you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We welcome uh, Brad, uh, Brad, uh, Brad Joshua. May the Lord bless you, uh, brother. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. So we, wel we welcome Brad Jason. May the Lord bless you, our brother. In Jesus' name, we welcome uh, Sister Testimony. May the Lord bless you, Sister. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We welcome, uh, I don't know if it's his sister or... That's uh, their, uh, our full name. That's, that's, that's that one, Mommy Precious. Oh, Mommy uh, Precious. Uh, oh, welcome, Mommy Precious. May the Lord bless you, Ma, for joining our, the first time. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah Amen. to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for God. Amen. 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 So now we thank God. We thank God. Right now we are going to welcome. Um, we are going to pray for the servant of God that we that we lead us to that we deliver the word of the Lord to us today. 
the word of the Father God said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That proceeds out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Brand, brand, mm, Emmanuel, may the Lord bless you for joining the service. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So we are going to welcome the servant of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let, let us pray for him. Then we, we call him to come and feed us with the word of God, by the word, by the grace of God, by the help of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray for him right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, my Father, oh, Lord, my God, we give you all the good to the honor the prayer. We thank you for your servant's life. And I will thank you for choosing him to be the one you will choose to be a blessing to us today, Father. And Almighty God, he shall have Almighty God, the word that you have given to him, my Father. And Almighty God, help him, Almighty God, to deliver all, giving us in the spirit of all the answers to deliver your word, giving the utterance, Almighty God, to deliver your word, both in the name of Jesus, my Father, any power that want to destroy, any power that want to block the way, not for us not to not to hear the message. And I will take authority over those power. We bound, we cast them out in the name of Jesus. And Almighty God, be with His mouth, Almighty God. As Your word is coming out, let it carry power and a fire in the name of Jesus, my Father. Empower Him, Father. Build a hedge of protection around Him and His family in the name of Jesus, my Father. We pray the blood of Jesus Christ around Him and His in His family right now. In in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory of the honor and the praise today. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you, sir, servants of God. May the Lord bless you, sir, Pastor James. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can hear me. Yes, sir. Okay. Amen. We thank God so much for uh, this evening. We want to share the Bible, uh, the Word of God. Uh, then we are going to have uh, uh, Holy Communion because uh, this Sunday is for Holy Communion. And we always begin with a short message to remind us the importance of the Holy Communion or the blood of Jesus on the sacrifice that was offered on the cross for us, because that is a memory that this service that brings, always whenever we are commemorating or whenever we are remembering uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. But before that, I want to sing a song. You all, you all know that song, uh, because it is the, my title, the topic today we are going to uh, talk about or read about uh, briefly uh, how the blood of Jesus Christ brought us near to God, brought us our hearts near to God. We who are far away, uh, so that's what we are going to remind ourselves in the scriptures today. In Jesus' name, near my ghost to thee, near to thee and though it be a cross that raises me still all my song shall be near my Goes to thee, near my goes to thee, near to thee. Though I go wandering, the sun gone down. Darkness be over me, my rest has Yet in my dreams I'll be near my ghost to be. Nyara my ghost to thee, Nyara 
tubing. Then with my waking thoughts, bright with thy praise, out of my stony griefs, bevel I raise. So by my was to be near my God to be near my God to be near to be oh if on joy flowing Grieving the sky, sun, moon, and stars forgone. Upward I fly, still all my storm shall be. Near my God to be, near my God to be, near to be. Amen. Near to God. Because that is our topic today. Uh, in a short while, we are going to touch some scriptures that speaks about our nearness to God. Because um, especially in salvation, there is nothing that is too bad or too boring that to be far away from God, especially in your heart. And I want to read the book of Exodus. I'm going to read the book of Exodus. Uh, Exodus chapter 19. That's where we want to begin. Uh, before I read a few scriptures. Uh, uh, to, to, to wring the blood of Jesus Christ that brought us near, close to, to God. Because, uh, and I will be speaking also some few benefits of uh, coming near to God, because especially when we are close to God, uh, there are some things that we experience, and one can know that I'm quite far from God, uh, because some of the things will be missing in your life. Uh, for example, uh, the book of Exodus, you know, Exodus chapter 19, we see an attempt to come near to God, you know, a deliberate attempt, even the desire of God. Because God desired to, to, to have a fellowship, a communion with his people. In fact, Moses called it communion, or rather when he was taught by God to build a tabernacle, that he was given a vision in heaven and was asked to do a tabernacle like the pattern he saw in heaven. And you see, that is, uh, I'm not reading that, but that is Exodus chapter 25, but I'm reading Exodus chapter 19. And God wanted uh, to commune with man, to be very close with man. And you know, when God was, uh, because he wanted man to partake what he is doing, to be a patent person, you know, he wanted God to be a fellow worker with man. And that's what we see in the book of Exodus chapter 19, an attempt, we see an attempt. You know, God wanted the children of Israel to come near him, they hear him. That's why, for example, Moses, uh, Moses always was called at Mount Sinai, where God resided by then. Uh, and yet he, he went and communed with God. God. He had God speaking, you know. The Bible says God spoke to him face to face, you know. He spoke direct voice, not in a vision, not in a dream. But God was so near, you can imagine, so near to a level that he demanded that he, I have been speaking with you. Can I see you? 
then you see the Bible says nobody can see God and live. But they had developed that cross relationship with Moses. And you know Moses, because he was very close to God, uh, he, was, he used to affect the children of Israel. Because many times when you are close to God and God is speaking with you all over, your heart is close to God. Eventually you affect people who allowed you. You know, they missed that God. Who is this speaking to you? We miss him. We, we, we miss to see him from him also. You know, they missed it. Just to be near to God because of how Moses used, after he comes to, uh, from the mountain, he comes very glorious. And that's why, for example, all people who are near to God, they are glorious in their heart. And normally see, whenever God visits you, brings his cross presence to you, he transforms everything around you completely. And it is not even to affect other people. So that's what was happening to Moses. In fact, when he, whenever he comes from the mountain uh, and he starts speaking, glory is emitting from his mouth, his, his countenance. You remember, there's a place also in the Bible, in Exodus also, his countenance changed because he was always close to God. So it was a desire for God to be close to humanity, to human beings, to, to the people he created. But you know, because of the testament, it was not able, uh, they were not, he was not able to achieve. For example, the book of um, Exodus, chapter nine, uh, chapter 19, verse 9, uh, let us uh, hear from verse 9. Verse 9 says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick crowd, uh, that the people may hear when I speak with thee. You see? He wanted them to hear the voice. Because, because you know, number one uh, sign that one, one you are uh, near to God is hearing the voice. You know, because if you are far off, no voice. So that's why he wanted them to, you know, the voice of God is had uh, you know, so the crossness, when you are more crosser, you hear better, you know. So that's why he wanted them to come near the throne of God, because the voice of God always come out of, uh, out of the throne of God. That's why, for example, the Bible says, Isaiah, when King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah saw the Lord. He was brought near. And when he was brought near, he heard the voice and he saw unspeakable things. Very glorious. So number one, you see, we also want to borrow from Isaiah, the crossness uh, to the altar of God. So here you see, he wanted to speak. Uh, and the Lord said unto Moses, Lord, I come unto thee in a thick crowd that the people may hear when I speak with you. He wanted to partake, be a partaker of this voice. Don't be a spectator. Just be listening also as I speak with him and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people, uh, uh, the words of, uh, of the people unto the Lord. Uh, so, you know, the people demanded that we want also to hear, you know, they missed it. You know, missing something, you know, loving to hear, to, to partake, you know. And, and the Lord said unto Moses, go and to the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow. Let them wash their clothes and be ready again the that, the that day. For the that day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon the Mount Sinai. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people loud about saying, take heed to yourself that you go not up into the mount, uh, all touch uh, the border of it. Whosoever touches the, the mountain, uh, the mount shall be, shall, shall be surely put to death. And there shall no, not an hand touch it, but, but, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether be it a beast or a man, it shall not leave. When the trumpet sound, uh, when the trumpet sounded long, they all came up to the mountain. And Moses went down from the mountain unto the people and sanctified the people 
and they washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, be ready against that day, come not at your, uh, 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 not at your wives. You saw near, season, come. So all of them, so, but there was a regulation. He quickly developed a regulation to meet God, a very vigorous regulation. That was in the Old Testament. But you see, they have a desire. They want to come closer to God. They want to experience and hear the voice of God. They didn't. Because even, for example, if we can jump, because so we want to read other scriptures, for example, uh, you know, they, 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 they learn all of them could not bear that voice. Because, uh, for example, if you read uh, verse 18, it says, and the Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in a fire and smoke, therefore ascended as the smoke of furnace. And the whole mountain quaked greatly, shaking violently. Nobody even asked, even though we desired the Lord, could withstand such a a horror. And it was only just God coming to speak at, to hear, you know, they desired. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spoke to God, answered him by voice. And the Lord came down up upon the Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mountain. And Moses went up. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break through into the uh, into the uh, uh, into the Lord to gaze, and many of them perish. And let the priests also, which come near to the Lord, sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break forth upon them. So it was a very vigorous journey, but you know they desired; they were not able to come. And you know, when the Lord, uh, they desire, you know, a voice of God is to be desired. Our maker. That's why you see, for example, what the first time you hear the voice of God, a real voice of God, not the imagination. You know, people sometimes imagine that God has spoken. And he hasn't. When you hear the voice of God, it crushes you. It, you cry. You see the tears flowing freely. Why? Because your maker has just come near to you. It is tremendous. It is humbling. It is comforting. Whether it's rebuke, I normally tell people, even, if, even when the Lord rebukes you, because the Bible says he rebukes us as a father, he corrects us as a father. Even correction itself is edifying. Provided the Lord has spoken. Even correction itself, it's edifying. He is rebuking you. He is chastening you by voice. It's edifying because the Father has spoken. And I normally tell people, just take it positive. Even if the Lord shows you a very horrible thing in a horrible way you are, as long as the Father has spoken, that shows that he is near, he's coming close to you. Than just to hear sirens like grave. And that's why you see, for example, all men who uh, all the church that of the church of Christ that is always near to God, you know, the, the, the experience of the voice of God is a game, you know, it's a change, it's a game changer, you know. The, the feeling and the experience once feel and once experience, it is unspeakable. Whenever you hear that, that course they desired. And you think the life of Moses was so, 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 so glorious, a prophet that was so glorious. And you know. The transformation of Moses' heart and Bible says that Moses was so humble, was so humble than any man on the earth. And I was looking at the life of Moses. Why did Moses become so humble like this? Because always near the voice of God, God speaking, God speaking, God speaking. Always God speaking, always God speaking. That makes you very, 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 very humble and also glorious in the heart. Because whenever you speak, you emit that life. So that was what was happening here. So they desired. So, and you know, Moses had, had, had a very serious transformation to a level 
that you know also these people almost always worship because they knew no God. They never knew God than Moses. They know God belonged to Moses and then Moses belonged to us. So he was a mediator in between them. But this mediator could not mediate perfectly for them to hear the voice of God. Could not. Even though Moses desired, and he did ask, the Lord commanded him to sanctify them and to tell them to wash their clothes. He mediated, but he could not. The experience. He wanted them to get a taste. You know, sometimes you can explain things to people just by preaching. But they hear, the, oh, the words are sweet. But until they experience it, it's, ah. You know, many times I mentor people. I don't, I don't teach people how to hear the voice of God because there's no lesson like that. What the teaching that you can have is just near to God. Go near to God. How to go near to God. That is the perfect teaching that I can teach. I cannot be able to teach people. You know, there's, there's some churches that train people first how to speak in tongues. There is also school of, you know, can you, can you imagine somebody teaching you how to speak in tongues? And you know, the tongues are given by God. It's an utterance that is given. There are people who teach people how to prophesy. Okay, just cross your eyes, shake your hands like this. It's prophecy is coming. Prophecy. No. There are people who teach people, how can you teach somebody to prophesy? It's God. It's people. There are some people who you teach people how to hear God. How can you teach people to hear God? The only thing that you can do is to teach people how to, to come near to God. Leave them there. Then, when they are there, they must find the voice of God. They must find They'll, they'll be shocked. Oh, get serious, brethren. Get serious. God is alive. The way that he has visited with me in the night, God, is because your, your teaching is to guide people, go near, but not to teach them how to hear God or how to prophesy or how to speak in tongues. That is not a teaching that any, any person can have. But you can only teach people, go near to God. So he, Moses, Moses, however much he wanted, he couldn't. The voice works better, good, and good. Let us read the book of Isaiah. So I'm just seeing the example when the Lord speaks. Uh, then, then we are going to uh, the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah. Then we are going to 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 narrow in to the blood of Jesus Christ. You see how marvelous it is. How marvelous. We see the how uh, the book of Isaiah chapter six. Isaiah chapter six. The book of Isaiah chapter 6, it was so beautiful, especially in those days. You know, Isaiah was a prophet and uh, called as a prophet. But you know, Isaiah chapter 6, we can read verse 1, it says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I, I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up. And his train filled the uh, his train filled the temple. Above it uh, stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With the twine he covered his face. You know that is it's amazing because he was seeing the throne of God. Yeah? You know, and that's why you, you know the throne of God. In other words, especially in the New Testament, it's also called Holy of Holies. So Isaiah was seeing the Holy of Holies. And you know, he waited until the King Uzziah died. He waited until the King Uzziah died. You don't know how many years he was. You don't know how many experience. You know, he was still was a prophet. He was a, he was a Jew. But waited until King Uzziah died. Then he saw the throne of God. Okay. And, and, and you know, he's, he's discussing the features in the glory, in the, in, in the throne of God, you know, that discussion. He's see things that are amazing. That's why you see God, when you come near to God, it's not a joke. You hear, you hear sometimes you hear that you see the church, you know, making fun of God. They have not seen because it's shocking. When the voice of the Father is a trembling voice, yet it's a loving and fulfilling 
a life full of life voice, but yet it makes somebody serious. Because for example, here Isaiah, you see how serious he got when he came near. So that's the seriousness that God desired Israel to have. You know, even Moses is, oh, I wish. And that's why you see Moses, um, one time he, he attempted, you know, he prayed for 72, I think 72 men when he was overwhelmed by the work of prophecy. And you know, one of, the, one of the people he was working with, he challenged them, but your people are prophesying. Say, oh, how I desire that all people of Israel are prophets. How I desire, not even no 72 that I have laid hands on. How I desire that all Israel are prophets. You know who's desiring? I wish people you can hear the voice of God. And you know how God is doing it. And you know how God is gracious, and you know you saw how God is serious. Of. He was desiring the whole Israel to hear the voice of God. You know, they were complaining that some people were prophesying. And it's how I desire. You know, it was a desire within a desire of God that people of Israel could hear. So Isaiah here also saw after. A real struggle. You know, old, old Testament is a struggle to come near to God. It's a struggle. So, he saw, verse 3 says, And one cried unto another. See, these are self -aimed. Said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. See, first, the cry. Probably Isaiah was not, probably he did not take the, the word of holiness seriously. But when he touched, he had holy, holy. Me, I teach sometimes holiness. But you know, you can just teach holiness by the discipline, the holiness of discipline, you know. And you know, the holiness of the discipline, then the face, the, the natural, the, what I call flesh discipline. For example, you can teach people how to speak. And they speak because they fear the pastor. They speak well because they fear the pastor. You can teach people how to dress. And they dress because they, they fear the pastor. They always dress right because they fear. That's why you have, you see, men have perfected the religions, for example, that dress very well. Many in Kenya, they dress very well. As a cult of our religion, we dress like this. As a code of our, our religion, we shave like this as men, like men, the way we shave. They shave as a code, it's just a code, you know. But you see, there's a difference when these people experience, you know, as Isaiah experienced the throne of God and was brought near and what he had. That holiness is different. The way you pursue holiness now becomes very different altogether. Because you know, as a hand, holy, holy. And I normally say that when you see people practice holiness out of fear of men or just public opinion and how people will see, one day they'll fall. But when people practice holiness because they have experienced him and they have had, as Isaiah had, holy, holy. Then they are very, very firm in, the, in terms of issues of holiness. They don't joke. They don't have an inch of compromise. They are willing to pay any price to defend the gospel because they have they are witnesses themselves. Isaiah was a witness here, was brought near, became a witness. Because all the issue of being God wanting us to come near is because He wants us to be a witness. And you know, it's such also a tragedy for a servant to serve God without witnessing. And that's why you know, you know, nowadays it's very serious, it's very funny that the days that we are living in, people are going to the origin school, they get a certificate. 
or a degree, they become a pastor or they became a reverend, they became a bishop. But you know, it was not so in the ways of the Lord. Because you see, there is a calling. There is that brought, you are brought near always and you hear from yourself. And whenever you hear you from yourself, accountability starts from there. You are accountable because you will be accountable to him who called you. You will be accountable. Regardless of whatever you face on this earth, you are accountable to him who called you. And whenever you via or you be tour, you are guilty. Say, okay, because I'm guilty because I don't have peace. I cannot have peace because the one who called me, this one was the instruction. You bear the record of yourself because you became a witness. And that's what you see, Isaiah. Before, and all, you see all the prophets before they become serious. That's why it's the, even the prophets of the Old Testament they were very serious, very serious. No compromise. Because even the Lord brought them near the throne. So although the Lord wanted the whole Israel to be like that and to walk that journey, to be with us, to understand God, to know the ways of God, the Bible says that Moses knew the ways of God. The children of Israel knew the acts of God, you know, the acts of God as the church today. Don't know the ways of God, but they know acts. They know God blesses. They know God do that. They know God like can do this. They know God can do this. But the ways of God, very few. So this is now Isaiah here. See, holy had become, became a witness. Because when the Lord blames you near, you become a witness of how God serious is. In fact, you know. That God, surely, it was not a joke when he went on the cross. He went on the cross. He died for human humanity. Plus, he went to prepare a place. So when you are embarking the journey of preparation, that journey of preparation, it is not a joke because, you know, you are convinced. You become a wife, an eyewitness. Just like those people who died when Jesus Christ was dying, you know, Peter says, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cross-check that very fast in the book of First Peter. But let me finish I'll finish, I'll finish this. Then, then we go to First Peter, Second Peter. You see what he says. Because even when Jesus Christ, he became a witness. For example, he said, Isaiah here, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the doors moved at the voice of him that cried. It's a shocking thing. And the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, then said I, woe is me. Woe is me, for I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips, you know. Because, you know, it's like you going to a mirror full of, full of, uh, you know, full of spots in a white garment. You cannot deny it. You cannot deny it. And that's why, for example, when you preach repentance to people who have not seen God, you make sure that you bring. Many times I go to the missions. The Holy Spirit moves me. Then I Preach the mirror until people, everybody is able to see themselves in the mirror. So you must preach with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Because Isaiah, this, this, this thing happened. When he said, oh, I'm done. I'm done. I am not complete. You know, it makes you always humble. Just like Paul said, that I do not see myself as have attained, you know. But one thing I am doing, I'm praising on. I'm pressing on, you see, I'm not yet complete, see, not complete. And you know, this state is always needing the Lord for sanctification, for washing of the blood of Jesus Christ. This is a state, you see, because he said, I am on the of, of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And that's why I'm, I, I, I'm, I was saying, 
even if the Lord rebukes you by his voice, still it is an encouragement on the flip side, or still is edifying. You know, Isaiah was rebuked at the throne just by seeing himself. And you know this the state that the Lord appreciates because always you need the Lord to say, oh, I need you, than to see yourself complete, especially in terms of preparation, when the Lord is preparing the church. So that's why you see, as we are running today near to God, especially coming near to him, and you see what normally happens when you are always near, you know, always near. The eyes are open, the ears are open, eyes are open. You still, you, you, you have the right, you know, the right picture of yourself. The right, not how people see you. Not how people, Proverbs says, do not throw into the praise of men. Do not throw, you know, you see, don't, you see, Proverbs says that don't praise yourself. The other scripture says also, do not throw away the praise of men in the praise of men. When people, men are blessed, this is the inner self, self-reflection. It only happens on the throne when you are near. So let us see the book of First Peter, Second Peter, before we go to another scripture here. So we are learning a very short message, very short message, the importance of Crossness coming cross, and you see, you will see uh, uh, at the tail end of the message, you are going to see the blood of Jesus Christ, how it was instrumental, important. What the Lord was not achieve, able to achieve in the Old Testament, as I, I, I mentioned, that Moses told them, Oh, how I wish all God's people are prophets, as I am. He desired, because he saw, if only they could hear God as I am hearing then people could be very serious. <coughs> and you know, that is always the vision of every, any leader of a ministry. That I wish that all people could hear as I am hearing and could understand as I am understanding. Then you could have raised a very, very, very strong, but you, you, you raise people, for example, here in, in, in this is uh, virtuous women. Some are going this way, some are going this way. Some are talking about Marie, some are talking about Jan, some are talking about Fisher, some are bringing confusion, some are saying people are not going the same way. Oh, how I wish that people will see the vision as the same. Moses desired, but was not able to achieve. That is the book of First Peter. If you read the book of First Peter, the, the book of First Peter. Is it first Peter or second Peter? It is second Peter. Hallelujah. It is second Peter. Second Peter. You see, uh, verse 15, chapter 1, verse 15. Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 15. You see, I was talking about the eyewitness, the Lord. You know, being close to God means also be, you become a, an eyewitness of the throne of God. An eyewitness. An eyewitness. See, see. Moreover, I'll endeavor, that's verse 15. First Peter, chapter one, second Peter, chapter one, second Peter, chapter one, verse 15. Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able after my decease to have these things always in remembrance. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. He was telling no, not fables, not stories. When we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Just as, as, as Isaiah, eyewitness of his majesty. And no wonder you see the, 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 the disciples, or rather the apostles who became the apostles, they preached with a lot of zeal, they were able to sacrifice to the, to the, to, to the, you know, to the brim because of Christ, because they were eyewitnesses. You know, the what is problem today? You know, people hear God through theology. People just read God through things, you know, through books, but they don't become eyewitnesses, you know. And it's a tragedy, and you wonder why. 
you know, people know God through things. And you know, people kind of, for example, you can hear people speak, hey, this person know God, hey. He's quoting all the scriptures and he's applying all quotes or everything, you know. But people because it's becoming an eyewitness. An eyewitness. Then you understand what he was saying in the book of Matthew. You say, oh, the, 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 you know, the door is narrow. You say, oh, because you become an eyewitness. You know, Peter was saying, I have, you know, we, we have become an eyewitness of his majesty for he for he received glory from God. He received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to, the, uh, uh, to, to, to him from the excellent glory, you know, from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. You see, and this voice which came from heaven, we had. Not stories. We had. No, Jesus did it deliberately. He, he went to a mountain of transfiguration. He carried Peter, John, and James. Then the glory came. The Bible says their eyes were open. And when they, their eyes were open, they heard him. It was an experience. And then he said, can we, Lord, can you make three tents here? <laughs> one for you, <laughs> you know? She was so, so Moses, you know? One for you, one for Moses, and for Elijah. Can we make it? Because it's so amazing. They were eyewitnesses. That's what he, he's repeating to the church here before he departs. And telling the church, these are not fables. These are not stories. And that's why we are also... As we are preaching in 2022, we think this is serious. This, Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed his blood, even as we are remembering in the Holy Communion today. And that's why you see, eyewitnesses people explain and preach the Lord seriously because he saw them, he saw it, you know. And, uh, and this voice we heard, which came from heaven, we heard when we were with him in the holy mountain. This one, they, were, they became the eyewitnesses. And you know, this was, in fact, Jesus did it deliberately to bring them near so that even after he departed, before they received the Holy Spirit and before he died on the cross, because here in the transfiguration, it was before he died on the cross. And after the blood was shed now, they became more closer and in, even in much understanding. At what they are speaking, it's not fabulous. It's not a story. Because if you, don't, you speak something that you are, not, you are not a witness of it, it is easy to change. And that's why people are, are reaching to a point they are doubting God. Is God still insisting on holiness to women, to men, the church? Or is this making of makeup stories of, from pastors? Any people are, have a lot of doubt. Is the sacrifice of the, the blood of Jesus Christ still stand? Or we need other sacrifices? That's why in Africa, there are so many other sacrifices, even on animals. That people are returning to those things. The traditions from men that we have received from the fathers. Because people are doubting. Because not many in this generation are believing that these things are there. But you know, even now, because the Holy Spirit is still there, the church has not been taken. Because you know, at the rapture, the Lord takes the church, and the Lord takes the Holy Spirit altogether. So there is no conviction, or we are not, even the blood of Jesus Christ ceases to work after the rapture. Because you know, it's done. But now the Holy Spirit is still present. The blood of Jesus Christ is still working. But you see, the church is still doubting whether these things are true. But it is true. Because the Bible says, he who doubts is very unstable. And the devil like it, you know, because you are doubting whether God still is preparing heaven for you. You are doubting whether he's still insisting on holiness. But you know, Isaiah here, we saw he said, Holy, he had it. Holy, 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 holy is the Lord. 
So when it comes to the matter of Paul, Mr. Small Company, because he's a witness, Peter here, he's a witness of his majesty. And so now you see the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross. That which the Old Testament that Moses also desired, that I wish all the people of God in Israel are prophets. Prophet means now coming near to God, you are able to hear from yourself. Like say Samuel, you are able to hear from Samuel. Like Samuel, you are able to hear from yourself. Not from Eri, because Eri perceived that Samuel, God is calling him. The voice is, is near him now. Even though he is not understanding, you know, it is, it is better for you not even to pass to understand, but it is there. Because the Holy Spirit will give you an understanding. And, in that, and that's what I tell people. Don't question dreams, even if sometimes you don't understand dreams. No, don't worry. Interpretation belongs to God. The one who gives the dreams, even if sometimes you don't understand, and then I tell people, don't rush to, to interpret a dream until you understand it very far, very well. Because you may misinterpret, because even if you see a very deep dream, you're not able to understand, to comprehend, what is this? But the interpretation belongs to him who has given the dream. Eventually, it will come to a full realization. You'll know what God was saying. But if people rush, but it's better when that is there because now he is bringing you near. Even someone did not understand the first time, but he was brought near. And he had, Samuel, go back. Samuel, go back. That time, say, Samuel, say, perceive, go and say, here I am. Speak the Lord, speak Lord. And perceive, oh, God is speaking. And from there, things change. He was brought near. But you see now, the covenant that we are in as you are commemorating the Holy Communion tonight, the covenant that we are in is not that like that, that Old Testament. There was a serious struggle. And you know, we were very far. Uh, for example, the children of Israel were quite far, not very far as we are. Uh, we Gentiles, we are quite very, very, very far because of course we had other gods. Not from the, for example, the book of uh, Romans, I know not Romans, but uh, Ephesians. Let us read the Ephesians before we finish with Hebrews. Uh, the book of Ephesians. So tonight we are just running the nearness to God, nearness, nearness to God. Uh, the book of Ephesians, Ephesians, and becoming eyewitnesses. You know, we were not there. I read sometimes when I was teaching, it's still in the program, uh, the program that I was I'm doing. Uh, when Marie was sick in Angora, I remember, I was teaching here and I told you that, you know, God was, you know, you wonder how did we witness the, the flow of the blood of Jesus Christ and yet you were not there when Jesus Christ died on the cross, you know. How did you witness it? Because whenever we do the Holy Communion, it's very good it's, it's for remembrance. It's by faith, we remember, it's by faith. But how, how does this blood become so a reality? It is because he who was there, the Holy Spirit, we read in the book of First John, is in us. The Holy Spirit. You know the Holy Spirit witnessed it, oh, what happens? And that's why I normally tell people, the Holy Spirit is not speaking in tongues. The Holy Spirit is not prophesying. The Holy Spirit is not doing miracles. The Holy Spirit is about reminding you what really happened on the cross and the pain and the anguish and the agony. And whenever he brings that picture, always, because he was an eyewitness, that's why you see people who have the Holy Spirit, real Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit. You know, when they come to the issues of the gospel, no, 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 no. It's better remain for me to remain poor. It's better for me to remain like, as I am than compromise. Because that picture was a serious picture. Because the Holy Spirit, we are in 2022. But the Holy Spirit then 
2,000 years ago, he was there. When Jesus Christ was crying, you know, agonizing like a sheep. You know, when the sheep is almost dying, the voice that comes out of the sheep, it makes you even the, the, the person who is slaughtering, if you're not strong in heart, you say, let me read this sheep because, you know, the noise is disturbing me. Even the chicken, whenever, you, you know, it brings a lot, a lot of noise, you know. That noise of the Holy Spirit had, Jesus Christ agonizing on the cross. And he brings that picture to us. So that's why, you know, in the matters of the gospel, no compromise, you know. It's better I remain alone. It's better I walk a solitude life, very solitude. You know, very lonely life. It's better I stay without friends sometimes, you know, because... It was that picture, you know, it was a very, 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 very horrible picture. You know, the Holy Spirit bring it eventually. That's become a witness of the blood of Jesus Christ, how it flowed on the cross. So Ephesians chapter 2, as I finish, I finish with the last scripture. I, I read this, then I read the, the last scripture. Then we are going to partake the Lord's table. And the Lord's table topic today, coming near, the blood has brought us near. As we remember the blood, the blood has brought us near. And that the blood always brings us near, even in the 21st century, 2022. Let us let the blood always bring us near. Verse, verse 12 says, chapter 2, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Sometimes I read this word, I'm shocked, without God. Without God. You know, like Africa here, people used to worship mountains and think they have God. You know, sometimes people used to worship in under certain trees. They say these trees are sacred. They worship them. And they thought they, they are with God. In Africa, people do witchcraft to call lane. For example, when there's drought, like here, there's serious drought. People do witchcraft to call, to call, to call for rain. And they, they think God, it's God. It's not. But the Bible says we Gentiles, we are without God in the world. Aliens having no hope. And the Bible says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off, far off, in fact, the Bible says, far off means quite far, but very far. Far off are made near or are brought near, or are made near by the blood, by the blood of Christ. So this Moses, this what Moses desired the Israel to have. And that's why you see, whoever is touched and whoever they have the proper memory, proper reverence, proper understanding, of the blood of Jesus Christ, you are always brought near. Because you know, the blood of Jesus Christ is able to help our infirmity, the flesh. This flesh that cannot go before God because of sinful nature. The Bible says, blessed is he who is covered by the blood, always cover you. And because it was a perfect sacrifice that was offered, that was a sweet smearing to the Father, that whoever is covered by that blood is admitted always in. Because there was an admission for Isaiah. You know, Isaiah is admission. He was admitted. And that's why you say, for us, it's not like the priest in Israel, those who used to enter into the Holy of Holies, Eari. Us, because the blood of Jesus Christ is always present and we believe in it. You see, regularly, all the time, all the time, that whenever you touch the blood, that then whenever the, the drop of the blood is upon you. You see the admission, there's an admission to the Holy of Holies. 
And that's why I normally know, know tell Christians, sometimes they tell Christians, you know, I feel God is so far from me. I feel God is not answering my prayer. I still, I, I feel so empty. You just need the blood. But when the blood touches you, it brings like a river. It is like a river that brings near to God. And the flesh dies. The flesh that prohibits you to hear from God or to internalize the things of God and the importance of God and the dedication to the things of God, that flesh dies. Then you feel, you feel oh, how I, I have messed, you know. You know, sometimes you do something, you are quite far, and God comes with his own love and grace, and he embraces you. You feel, what did I, why, why did I do this? Why was I so far? Why was it? Because this, this experience is so good. This is my father. This I my Abba father. Why did the things of the world remove me from this? But thank God you are regretting while you're on earth. You see, you desire the process because you, you have an admission. Because whenever you have an admission, that experience, you know, David said, whoa, to be in his court. One day in his court. It's better than a thousand days elsewhere. One day, he was talking about the throne, the nearness, when David wrote that in the, in the book of Psalms. That one day in his court is more than hundred thousand days elsewhere. You know, thousand days is more like it's like three years, like three years, and he's talking about one day, and especially one night. But the Lord has lifted you in the spirit, he has just brought you near. So the, in the New Testament, what brings us, what makes the Lord to have that admission into a very holy, 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 holy place? Holy, where Isaiah had holy, 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 holy. Now it's the blood, the river of the blood. As the, 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 the commemoration we are doing tonight, we are remembering the blood. This blood with this understanding brought us near that we can hear. We can be eyewitnesses and we can speak what we have witnessed with all boldness, without fear. Hallelujah. And you see, so let me finish. For he is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. If we read the book of the last scripture, the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, chapter 10, the book of Hebrews. Um, the book of Hebrews, um, there, so that we can have the Lord's table. So it is always good to be eyewitnesses. Eyewitnesses, not people who are just hearing the stories, because also the Holy Spirit is with us, who heard, who saw how the, the Jesus was sacrificed. Uh, the book of um, Hebrews chapter 10, I'm going to read verse 19. Uh, for today. Hallelujah. The Bible says, having therefore brethren, uh, having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest, you know, the voice of God is resident into the holy of holies. So whoever hears the voice of God, either by dream, either by vision, either by inspiration, or any other form that God can use, can choose to use to, uh, to speak to you, must enter into the holy of holies. And it was just a terrible place to enter in the old, in the old. But you see now, the access is made through the blood always. So I say that boldness comes through the blood of Jesus Christ, that we always ha uh, come through, go through under, through, you know, covered by that sacrifice. And we enter to the Holy of Holies. And whenever you are at the Holy of Holies, the experience there, first, the, the experience of God, you become an eyewitness of many things. You know, the understanding of God is quite different from people who have been taught God by, by men. And it is a desire of God that all the children of God, they become eyewitnesses. And you know, the work of the pastors is to make sure that the church the sheep of Christ, the body of Christ, 
have come near to God through the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's, that's why the preaching of the blood of Jesus Christ till the trumpet blow should not cease. The commemoration of the blood of Jesus Christ, that's what the Lord told us, told us in the Bible, do it in remembrance of me. The more you remember, you are always telling people, see, he is our, your, your father. He has also admitted you by the blood to whenever he touches you. And you know, this blood is able to deal with all form of sin, all form of iniquity. It's able to deal with all form of trespass in whatsoever way that it can prevent anybody to enter. And it's able to cover the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Niara, my ghost to be. Niara to be. And though it be a crow that raises me, still all my song shall be near my God to be. Niara, my God, to thee. Niara, to thee. Through the right way, wander on. The sun gone down. Darkness be over me, my rest a stone. Yet in my dreams I'll be near my God to thee. Niara, my ghost to thee. Niara, to thee. Then with my waking thoughts, bright with thy praise, out of my stony green bevel I raise. So by my woes to be near my God to thee. Niara, my God, to thee. Niara, to thee. All if on joyful wings, grieving the sky, sun, moon, and stars for God. Upward I fly. Still all my song shall be near my God to thee. Niara, my God, to be Niara, to be. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you for tonight. Lord, we desire to be near to you, O oh God and see that the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross, oh God, this blood always brings us near to you, oh God. It is my prayer tonight, as we commemorate, 
as we have the holy communion tonight O oh god let the blood of jesus christ let the sacrifice of the cross always bring us near to you that we may be eyewitnesses of your glory we may be eyewitnesses of your majesty we may be eyewitnesses of your peace we may be eyewitnesses of your blessings we may be eyewitnesses of your holiness holy 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 isaiah saw he was a witness because when this voice is near to us we are not people who are high who hear stories about you we are eyewitnesses and also we are eyewitnesses of your internal kingdom that lord you have gone you have gone you went to prepare for the church for the bride of christ and now we then we take the salvation seriously and we take the ministry seriously and also we take the preparation seriously oh god lord we thank you and lord we give you all the glory even as we partake all of this holy communion holy spirit we pray that lord you may be a witness tonight with my brethren who are scattered abroad oh god even as we join in this zoom fellowship oh god in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. My brethren, we are going to read a verse in the book of First Corinthians. I know you are going to prepare now uh, the cup. First Corinthians chapter 11. And we're going to partake Lord's table, all communion, holy communion. I'm going to read verse, uh, verse 23, uh, verse 23, as we prepare now, verse 23. For I have received uh, of the Lord what uh, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, then the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take it. This is my body, which, uh, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do as ye, this, uh, this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do chew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup, of the Lord unworthy shall be shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and let and so let him eat of that blood and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. So we are going to take a moment, my brethren. Uh, we want to first to prepare. First, we prepare our cup. And we are going to uh, take a moment, take a moment of silence. And we, the, the, as the scripture has directed us to examine ourselves, and if there's anything that you see that uh, you, if you take you particular uh, communion tonight, it will be unworthy, unworthy, not discerning the, the Lord's body. Praise, repent. Because the blood of Jesus Christ, we access it by faith. It's always present. And it's able to wash, sanctify, and make sure that any trespass, iniquity, or sin is washed because we should always discern the Lord's body, because we have the Holy Spirit that always bring the picture, the pain that Jesus Christ felt when he was shedding the blood on the cross. So we want to take a minute 
uh, then we examine ourselves. If anything, please repent in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray and examine ourselves. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So, brethren, we are ready now. We are going to start with the, the bread. Uh, we are going to start with the bread, and we do it in unison. Unison means we are the same body. We don't hurry. We take it in unison. Thank God we have a perfect internet for tonight. It can be uniform uh, as we do it tonight. It is the scripture command that we tarry for each other. Tarrying each other is doing it in uniform, that people don't eat it in a lash. Uh, so that's why you don't give role stable to children who are very young, who don't know what they're doing. They rush, eat, they take another one. We don't do that because it's a very serious service. We do to people who understand of tarrying because of that unity. Uh, if we read, uh, we go back to the scripture, verse 24, that is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he break it and uh, he break it and said, take it, take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance. Let us give thanks for the body. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want to thank you so much for the body. This is the body that was crushed when you were on the cross. It is the Holy Spirit who always brings that this remembrance in our hearts. And as we do it uh, in remembrance of you, O oh God, we always take it seriously that this is how this is how our salvation was gotten, O oh Lord. Lord, as we partake this body, let that remembrance be in us, and let the blood of Jesus Christ also bring us near to you, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray and give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us take together. Verse 25. After the same manner also, he took the cup. 
when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink, as you drink it in remembrance of me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you so much for the cup, O oh God. This cup signifies the blood that was shed on the cross. And tonight we have just remembered how this blood brought us near to you. We who are far off, O oh God, and the river of the blood of Jesus Christ brought us near to the holy of holies, that we can hear the voice of God and become eyewitnesses of your majesty, eyewitnesses of your holiness, eyewitnesses of your power, O oh God, and even believers of the heaven and the kingdom of God. So, Father, we thank you so much because of the precious blood that was shed on the cross. As we partake it tonight, we pray that this memory and this remembrance we always be in our hearts, that we always use the, use the blood of Jesus Christ to enter into the Holy of Holies. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Let us partake all together. Jesus always bring us near, always push, always that we may be eyewitnesses of his majesty, of his holiness, of his power, of the kingdom, and also of the kingdom 
that he has gone to prepare for us in Jesus' name. So may the Lord bless you. I'm going to hand over to our moderator, uh, evangelist, uh, patience, Fisher. Amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the man of God. We thank God for the anointing of God, the power of God that is upon you. We just thank God for God to continue increasing you more and more and more in his own glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God. May the Lord give us all of us as we are, we have heard the word of the Lord to be to be to be closer to our Father. Oh, may the Lord give us all of us that grace to be closer to him, to know him more, know, loving him more, no? I thank God for God. We thank God for this message and we thank God for the Holy Communion. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. So right now, we are going to pray for the servant of God, the virtue that went out of him for God to replenish it unto him. Let us pray for him. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all the nations of you, Father, we thank you for using your son to be a blessing to us, oh my God. And I go, we are grateful. We are thankful, Almighty God. We thank you for your anointing upon his life. Almighty God, we are grateful, Lord Father. As you use it to be a blessing to us, Father, bless him in return in the name of Jesus, my Father. Every virtue that went out of him, oh Lord, replenish it unto him in the name of Jesus, Christ, my Father, my Lord. And I send you angels, O Lord, to encamp around him and his family, Lord. Beauty, hedge of protection around him, Lord. And I'm with the God, and shall that fulfill and power him, O dear Almighty God, to you, to the end, Almighty God, for you, Lord, in Jesus' name, Father, and bless him, and bless his house, for your glory, in Jesus' name, Father. We are grateful, we are thankful, Lord, for using him to be a blessing to us. We are grateful, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. It's time for our contribution. I will call upon the servant of God to the woman of God to, for the contribution. May the Lord bless you, my evangelist John. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my sister. Thank you so much. God bless all of us. Let the power of this communion, let the reason of this communion, the power behind the ministry of taking communion fall upon all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Servant of God, we want to thank you. We thank you for allowing yourself to be used by God. We thank you for the wisdom of God in you. We thank you also for the advice you give to us. Indeed, you cannot teach somebody to hear from God. You cannot teach someone to speak in tongues. Neither will you teach, uh, teach someone to prophesy. Hallelujah. We be hearing of school of learning how to hear from God, learning how to prophesy, but you said the right thing. We better teach people to go closer to God so that when closer to God, all these things can follow them than for them to go and fool themselves. Thank you so much for making that part clear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to go for our contribution. Our contribution is the part of the obedience of the word of God. So let us go for the contribution. We are talking here about our tithes, about our offering. We are going to pray that God, you know, should acknowledge us and our offering and tithe in the name of Jesus. So as I will be praying for, I will be singing this song. It gives us the, the way to to ask God what we should give today as offering to him. Meanwhile, our tithe is a steady thing, is a 10% of our income or our profit. So we are going to be singing this song while we are preparing it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. Today and not tomorrow. Today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise. For all I know, that you are always good. God stay there for me. Almighty God, you are all in all. No matter what we face, 
when success come away, we will praise the Lord. Today and not tomorrow, today, oh, we will lift up our voice in praise. Today, not tomorrow, today, oh, we will lift up our voice in praise. For all we know, uh, you are always here for us. Oh, mighty God, mighty Jehovah, you are our all in all. Oh, no matter what we face, when success come away, we will praise your name. Hallelujah. Whatever we face, when the success come, we we'll continue to praise the Lord of God. When Whatever will show up, we thank God because He said everything will work for good for those that love Him. Hallelujah. Let us now go for our offering and tight and let us begin to pray now. Let us lift it up, hold it, and begin to pray about it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, we present our offering and tight before you. Father, our offering that we give today and the tight we pay today, Father God, we present it before you, Lord, and we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, multiply it, O oh Lord, as he's doing the work of your house. Father, remember your children. Remember your children, bless them in return in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, will say it to open the door, it to open the gate of heaven for us. Father, open the gate of heaven for us, O oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My Father, my God, we we'll also pray for those that have not to give today, Lord. Father, bless them and make them partaker of this wonderful miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We we'll cover our tithe and offering with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Rock of Ages. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. May the Lord bless you, Ma. In Jesus' name, Amen. So amen. our announcement. So I will call upon Evangelist. Uh, Marie, for the announcement, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor James, for the word of God and communion. More grace in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our announcement for this week is we are coming on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday for our Pray Without Season session at 1 p.m. Global time. We also, Tuesday and Thursday, we have our midnight prayer. As the Bible says, we should not sleep like others. And we also have our... Um, Bible study that you have killed twice a month at 8 p.m. London time. That is the Mondays, on Mondays, but also Venture Summer on Mondays have killed twice a month as well. And we also have our general night video, which is 11 p.m. London time. And we have our um, first week of every first week of the month we dedicate it with the, we pray with uh, we fast and pray to dedicate the month in the hand of god and we also every sunday every first sunday of the month just like today we do it in remembrance of him that has died for us each time we do it we remember what our lord jesus went through to have that picture of us we make us more near to him and to even a, more, a holy life hallelujah and we have our Sunday service just like today without forgetting the Department of the Children on Saturdays, 8 p.m. and 6 p.m. London time. All the children will gather them to come and hear the word of God. The Bible says we should train them in the way that the Lord will not depart from them. May the Lord help us as we run this race to be more near to him as the blood of Jesus has brought us near to him, to be closer to him, to hear from him. As the word of God said today, if you hear it from yourself, you may to know the enemy come and steal the word of God that God has planted in your heart because you do not hear it from one, but you hear it from yourself. May the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. So that was the announcement. Praise Master Jesus, may the Lord bless you, man, in Jesus' name. So we are calling upon the servant of God for the benediction. May the Lord bless you, sir, Pastor James. Amen. So, amen. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for the fellowship that, Lord, you have given us and also the grace that, Lord, you have given us to share the word of God. And above all, we thank you so much because of the Holy Communion that we have partaken in unity and also in love. 
and also in agreement oh god we believe that the holy spirit will become you have you have witnessed it oh lord and we pray in the mighty name of jesus christ as we have learned and as we have reminded our hearts and our lives the importance of the blood of jesus christ that brought us near to you oh god that we may be partakers uh, of your glory we may be partakers of your holiness we may be partakers even of your majesty your majesty oh lord jesus lord we pray that this memory will be in our hearts forever oh god especially the days that we are, we have here on earth because the days are few and because we always remember we are pilgrims we are passing by oh god one day we will be out of this world oh god and this is the sacrifice that lord you have given us to prepare us for our eternity oh god where we live with you forever and ever so that's why you are speaking to us while we are alive you are speaking to us while we are healthy to prepare us for the kingdom of god these days is not just usual it's not just a usual program it's not a not usual zoom meeting it is always serious because holy spirit you are preparing us in different and in diverse ways oh god that lord when it comes for judgment will will be without excuse oh god lord we thank you so much for every person who have participated in this fellowship tonight those who have present online and those who will follow after oh god we thank you so much for them thank you so much even for this ministry the women who are laboring in this ministry uh, uh being led by evangelist marie and uh john and um fisher and all other women who are laboring to take this gospel of warning to all women uh across the globe lord we thank you and we give you all the glory we continue to fellowship in your presence oh god even before even after we leave this zoom that lord you'll continue to need us in your love and in unity in the mighty name of jesus father we give you all the glory and lord we give you all the honor in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. Christ. Amen. God bless you all. Shalom. 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 Amen. Amen.